Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. So check this out. Apparently, Odell Beckham out here flirting with the Giants again. Okay. I'm going to make this video short and sweet because this is fake news and it's annoying news. So I've been, I've been chilling today. Y'all wondering why y'all getting late night Fisk. Okay. Y'all getting a late night video because I, I've really been asleep all day. I've been chilling, trying to relax, being an old man for the day. You know, I've been on my old man shit today. But here's the deal. Let's let's take a trip down memory lane. Let's take a little trip down memory lane. Odell got a $90 million contract, $90, $92 million contract. And he proceeded to bury Eli Manning and the Giants in the Josina Anderson interview, okay? Odell didn't want to be in New York in his prime. Why the hell would he want to come back now? I'm sorry, but like, I don't want my girlfriend. I'm just going to say it like this, right? If you break up with a girl, if you break up with a girl and that girl goes and she, she goes and dates Drake, just give you an example. Okay. She goes and she dates Drake and she gets a taste of that rich nigga lifestyle, private jets, handbags, shoes. She goes and she she experiences a lifestyle that you can't give her. Why would you take her back? Why? So she could come back and brag about what she did with Drake and how and how much fun it was to be a, 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 a had a rich nigga lifestyle. Why why would we want that? Why would we want to bring Odell Beckham back to the Giants so he could brag about how he won a Super Bowl? Or how he's a winner now. He knows how to win. Do we really want veteran, I know how to win Odell in the locker room? Do we really want that? Let's get straight to the point here. Do you want that? So now Odell goes to the Rams. He knows what it's like to win a Super Bowl and be a part of a winning coach. Now, do you want to bring him back to the Giants where all we did was lose when he was here so he could just be that guy? And like, no, absolutely not. And on top of that, we don't need him. Our wide receiver core is deep. Like I talked about on Giants Outsiders last night with Kyle Pizzle, right? We got four good receivers. Tony, Wandale, Shepard, Galladay. Sills, Beckham, Betcham, whatever the dude name is who had 11 catches. All right. The other white boy. Okay, we got two shifty crafty white boys coming off the damn bench okay and fingers crossed Darius Slayton is off the team but whatever so we got two Cole Beasley's on the bench we got Wandale Tony Shepard and we got Kenny Galladay bottom line at the end of the day we don't need Odell where does he fit if Shepard Galladay Wandale and Tony are all healthy why do we need Odell on the team Odell can't even play till December. By the time Odell is ready to play, we're not going to want him. We don't need him. And I find it offensive that Odell Beckham is just talking about the Giants like he could just come back to us anytime he fucking wants to. I'm sorry. Let's go back to that girl analogy for a second. Oh, so you think that I'm just going to want you because I see you on Instagram with Drake? I see you on red carpets with Drake. You think you could just come back to little old me? Like, cause I ain't shit. You could just come back to me now? After you done gone and, oh, well, he seen me with Drake. He seen that, oh, I'm this, I'm that. He gonna take me back. I guess I go back to him. Don't you, as Giants fans, don't you get that energy from that, from Odell teasing us? Like, oh, it's nothing to go back to the Giants. Oh, I guess I go back to the Giants. No, sorry, Odell. It don't work like that, bro. Nah, we good over here. We good over here. Go back to L.A. Go catch balls with Matthew Stafford. We don't need you over here. It's nothing personal. But this whole adult Odell shit, that's not the Odell you were when you were here. 
That's not the Odell you were when you were here. When you were with the Giants, you were a fucking child. You were a petulant child. You were. You were always in some drama. Let's just call it what it was. We were willing to put up with it because you were the best receiver on the planet. And it's just like the Steelers with Antonio Brown. When Antonio Brown was the best receiver on the planet, he didn't have to go to meetings. He could curse out Ben Roethlisberger. He could do whatever he wanted to because he was going to catch 10 balls and a touchdown on Sunday. When Odell Beckham was doing dumb stuff for the Giants, he was going to take 70-yard slants to the crib. We put up with it. But I'm sorry, Odell. You're in your 30s now. It's, it, it, Odell got to be close to 30. He got to be. Okay, he was drafted in 2014. Drafted, what, nine years ago? He got to be close to 30. And he got two ACL surgeries. We're not going to have Odell coming back to New York thinking he the shit. It's not going to work. We don't know. And, and we're not desperate. Oh, we're just supposed to open our doors because we got rid of Gettleman. We're just supposed to just, just say, yeah, Odell, come back to the Giants. Nah, we ain't with that. We ain't with that. I've been asleep all day. I don't know what anybody else's opinion is on Odell Beckham. I don't know what the Twitter streets is talking about with Odell Beckham. I'm just giving you my opinion. Fresh out the bed. Okay? Fresh out the bed. This is, I'm just giving you my opinion. Maybe I'm cranky. <laughs> Maybe I'm cranky. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But we don't need Odell. And I get annoyed when Odell talks about some, well, you never know. I should have won that Super Bowl for y'all. No, that's like that. That's like that's like the, that's like your girl going and getting a baby by Drake. Oh man, that should have been your baby. It should have been our baby. No, bitch, you chose. You were Drake. No, Odell, you did everything in your power to get traded from the Giants. Cause you wanted to go to a bigger market because Eli Manning was dust. Eli Manning was dust. He couldn't get you the ball. We weren't winning, and you cried your way out of town. That's really what happened. I'm not saying it was right. It was still the dumbest trade in mankind. It is. It's the dumbest trade in Giants history. Trade to Odell was stupid. It was. But it happened. And the past is the past, and we don't need to reopen old wounds. It hurt me to see Odell catch those balls in the Super Bowl. It did. And I came on this channel and I told y'all how much that hurt me. That hurt my feelings. It hurt my feelings watching Odell Beckham catch that touchdown in the Super Bowl. Because that should have been in the Giants jersey. It should have been in the Giants jersey. It really should have. It hurt my feelings. But we've moved on now. We got number 89. We don't need you. It is what it is. <sighs> That's it, that's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.